Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, support page. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like all this beautiful content, okay? Um, we've been working a lot with GUI and the main menu and stuff. And I, I do want to improve the button class and everything. But I think to, to kind of keep all our interests going going forward and, and keep this nice ambition and and passion alive right we need to switch it up we need to kind of move on to other things for a little while and just uh see other people you know and do other things all right so we did create the player class now i want to focus a little bit on this component system because each entity will be able to house different types of components so say that we're creating the player um, we're not going to be able to move the player if it if we don't create a movement component to that player. Okay, it's going to be a really nice, complex kind of movement uh, component, which will have acceleration, all that nice stuff. And all we'll have to do is kind of add it to the entity. If we want that entity to be able to move to a certain position and all that stuff. Okay. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to create the components. And we're gonna have an animation component and all that stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new filter here and I'm gonna call it components. Okay, I'm just gonna put it up here. Uh, components. And I'm gonna add a new class and I'm just gonna call it movement component. Movement component. Okay, it's not gonna have any kind of base class or anything just yet. It's just gonna be its own little class. And then we're gonna do our own, I'm actually gonna copy that from here. I'm just gonna copy this, uh, put that in there. The uh, end if like that. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna need a bunch of these things as well. And I'm gonna put all of these in a compiled, pre-compiled header system. So it won't matter. We'll be able to include all of this in every class if we want. It won't uh, it won't make it worse. But for now, what I have to do is I have to just control X all of this beautiful stuff and put it in one of my components like this because I'm going to be including this component here in entity. So include movement component. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so this is just a very simple class. Uh, which looks kind of kind of weird, doesn't it? Looks kind of entity dot h. Oh no, not entity. Uh, movement component dot or underscore h. That's a long ass name. Define and then end if. Um. Yes, I think. I think I think that's fine. Okay, and then we have the class itself. So we'll be able to, be able to create movement components and all that stuff. Uh, and we're gonna just have a private private section here and a public one. So the idea is to create a movement component, add it to the entity, and just check in the entity if it has a movement component. And then we'll be able to move this this player. So let's make a very simple movement component. Okay. So I'm just going to do a float um, max speed max velocity. Okay. And we're going to have a init some initializer functions here. Initializer functions. Um, like that, we'll we'll touch them later. So we'll have a max velocity we can move at. We'll have a uh, SF vector 2F velocity, SF vector 2F acceleration, SF vector 2F again deceleration. Okay. So we're just gonna flesh this out with a few things. Uh, we're gonna make a we don't want two of those actually there we go functions 
and we're just gonna make a void update here const float reference dt easy as that and this is where we're actually gonna update stuff we'll we'll split it up nicely um, we'll split it up split it up nicely later functions uh, there we go now in here we're gonna actually just like I said we're gonna update this this whole movement component and then we'll be able to move we'll be able to um, get uh, get the velocity the current velocity the direction and all that stuff okay so yeah that's that's kind of how it's gonna work the velocity itself is gonna give us the direction and the speed at which we're moving okay update is fine uh, void move const float x const float y so we'll be able to move uh, we'll be able to void um, well actually we'll just we'll just keep that move right there and then we will define this as well like this um, mm, 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 mm. This is the direction in which we are moving. Uh, so I'm just going to say dear x and dear y like that. And then the movement speed, the max speed is actually within here anyway. Um, cool. So we just did that. Now to make it very simple, to make it very, very, very simple. Uh, max velocity very simple movement component I'm just gonna put this this is all that we're gonna use right now so we'll be able to create a movement component with um, a certain maximum velocity and when we move the character it will move it with that with that velocity um, so that's that's pretty nice that's pretty nice uh, okay so this velocity dot x um, equals uh, let's see uh, da, 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 da. const float uh, let's see const float dt as well we need the delta time and the direction actually we'll put it right here after everything so we'll get the delta time and we'll be able to move the character in certain directions uh, 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 uh. wait you know what skip the delta time for now skip that because when we oh sorry about this hit the mic uh, when we move the character let me think we're gonna assign Delta time at that movement. Not right here. Hmm. All right. So this max velocity multiplied by dear x. And now the reason I'm splitting it, up, splitting it up like this is because we might want different things for y and the x. But for now, I'm just going to do that. And then we'll be able to move with this velocity in different directions. Uh, and there we go. There we go. Pretty much. Pretty much. And once you move this, um, the final movement is going to be when we get the velocity. Okay, so just thinking here little bit out loud because what we want we want to change the velocity and want to be able to get the velocity and then move it move the character so we're just going to create some accessors here to get the velocity back um, accessors and then we'll do a sf vector 2f reference just const reference get velocity const and then define that and that should be able to return us our velocity like that from our component 
So there we go. So we can move the character with the velocity. Very simple movement component. We're not using anything else. We're just using these things here. So that's cool. All right, so let's just say we, we did create our movement component. We included it. Now we're going to actually remove move speed and we're going to do a movement component pointer component okay just a little pointer and then we're going to go in here uh, into let's close everything else and open entity.cpp remove this and just say this movement component equals null there we go boom and what initializers do we have? We don't have anything for that. Uh, void create movement component. And what do we need for that? We needed the const float max speed for that. Max velocity. I think it was called. Um, okay, so there we go. Now we can create a movement component using this function for this entity. That's what I want. So it's going to be several steps, okay? And that's pretty much what we want. We want several steps to safeguard us from creating random dumb shit. Um, and all this is going to do is this movement component equals new movement component with the max velocity right there. So it creates a new movement component for us. Um... And that set position works if you have a sprite, but move. Um, let's see. So that is the final movement. Uh, and movement should only work if you have a sprite and this movement component. So if the, both of those are set, if both of those are set, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of this before the DT. And I'm going to say this movement component dot get velocity. No. Movement component dot get ve velocity. Uh, no. Get velocity. And I'm pretty sure you can just do, do it like that. Yeah. There you go. So you get the vector to F, multiply it with DT. And there you go. So now you can move your character around. And that is, that's great. That's pretty much what we wanted. So we have a movement component if we create it for ourselves. And to do that in player, all I'm going to do in init components right here is I'm going to say this uh, create movement component with a max velocity of maybe 20.f, something like that. And then we'll have created the movement component. Easy as that. Uh, so there we go. Pretty much pretty much done with the video. Nothing more to do except test this out. And I think it's in game.cpp where we actually move the character. Update. No, it's game state. Game state. Sorry about that. So just open game state and we'll see where we move the character. There you go. So here is the player move function. Let's go to the player um, or the entity's move function. Let's see how that works. So move it actually moves the sprite with the movement component also what we need to do before that is this movement component dot move and then we need to actually give it the directions there there x there y and there are better ways to do this we will talk about that so this sets the velocity sets velocity and this uses velocity. So what you could do is you could actually send a reference to the sprite in here and let this function do everything for you. Okay, and that's probably what we're gonna do in the next video, just clean it up because this is more to show you the different steps. And I might have been dumb and forgot that, but still, we don't have a lot of time, so this should work. So let's just run this and let's see if this works properly. So we can have a little a movement component. Then we could just update the movement component to decide how the players or entities will move using this acceleration. 
Um, so I just do new game. So it's moving around. It is moving. I did set it to 20 though. So whoops, I did set it to 20. So before I just leave you, go into player. And let's just give it a hundred or something like that. hundred because we are using Delta time. So, so yeah, we are using, we are using Delta time. So there you go. Now we have a hundred here and we can actually start playing around in the movement component later on adding uh, let's just put this into the components folder. Also, I put players in, into the entities folder. Uh, now we can start playing around with this. All right, we can actually go in here and use, uh, right in here, we can actually use acceleration and everything. That's what we're going to do in the next video, all right? So stick with me. Thanks for watching. Hope I didn't go too fast. I was trying to kind of slow down. Uh, but if I do go too fast, please tell me. I'll try to slow down even more. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out the description box. All that beautiful stuff. Have a great day. All right. Have a real nice day. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.